81 divided by 9 times the quantity 4 plus 5. Pause the video. What's your answer? Now here's the twist. Depending on how you read this, you could get a completely different result. And both readings follow mathematical logic. Let's break down why this single expression creates such massive disagreement. This division symbol is ambiguous. Does it separate two operations that we handle left to right? Or does everything following it belong in the denominator? Two valid ways to read it. Two completely different outcomes. Let's start with path A. The textbook approach. We've all learned PEMDAS, so let's apply it systematically. Remember PEMDAS? The crucial insight. Multiplication and division share the same level. Addition and subtraction, too. When two operations tie, we resolve them from left to right. That's the tiebreaker. Back to our expression. First step, handle the parentheses. 4 plus 5 inside the parentheses simplifies to 9. Now notice this. 9 sitting directly next to 9 in parentheses. That's implied multiplication. No explicit time sign needed. It's shorthand for 9 multiplied by 9. Let's write it out with the multiplication sign visible. Now we face the tiebreaker. Division on the left, multiplication on the right. Same priority level. Left to right means division happens first. 81 divided by 9 is 9. Leaving us with this. 9 times 9 equals 81. According to standard order of operations, we get 81. Done? Not exactly. But wait, what about everyone who sees one as the answer? Let's walk their path. It's based on a different but historically reasonable interpretation. Some people read this expression and instinctively group what follows the division sign as a single unit, not separate operations, but one cohesive denominator. From this perspective, 9 times the quantity 4 plus 5 is inseparable. It's what you're dividing by. Rewrite it as a fraction, and the structure becomes obvious. Everything below the line must be simplified as one complete expression before we divide. Parentheses still go first. 4 plus 5 becomes 9. Next, we complete the denominator. 9 multiplied by 9. That's 81. Now we have 81 in the numerator and 81 in the denominator. And the final division gives us one. Same starting point. Different interpretation. Opposite result. All right. Two paths. Two answers. Which one is actually correct? By today's mathematical standards, path A is correct. The answer is 81. But that doesn't make path B users wrong. The real culprit here is the notation itself. It's vague enough to support both readings. The problem isn't your math skills. The problem is how this expression is written. Mathematics is supposed to be precise. This? This is ambiguous. Want to express 81? Group the division separately. Make it clear you're multiplying two independent results. Want to express one? Put the denominator in parentheses. Show that it's a single, unified quantity. Even better? Use fraction notation. The horizontal bar makes the structure immediately obvious. No room for confusion. Bottom line, math is communication. If your expression confuses people, you haven't written good math. Choose clarity over cleverness. Every time. If this cleared things up for you, give it a like and subscribe for more Math Mysteries Unraveled. Until next time.